What's up? This is Squatch2440 with a BeamNG video. Today we'll be having some fun here on the West Coast of USA map with a variety of trucks and cars. Today we'll be going at high rates and speeds and we will not be able to use our brakes. Up first we'll be using the single cab short bed all wheel drive sport truck here in Race Red. So this should be pretty interesting. We'll be kind of pulling out here onto the highway and we'll be going over here to our left so like i was saying guys this was a video idea requested by one of you we'll be doing this with a few different uh trucks and then we'll be switching over to some sport cars a few drag vehicles and it should be interesting this was requested to not use any brakes at high rates of speed so i really do appreciate it. if you do have any cool ideas drop them down below but as you guys can see already up to 90 almost going to reach 100 and we just will not be able to turn here on any of our turns which means we'll be going off kind of crashing and it should be pretty interesting you guys can see 110 miles per hour it looks like we are not able to turn take a look at that guys we nailed the tree sent us around and we just kept nailing trees let's see guys looks like the truck does want to try to move but it is not moving so we'll actually try each vehicle going in both directions on different uh, sections of the highway and then we'll be switching up each vehicle. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Today is the first day of April which is pretty cool. I'm very excited for all of the very cool videos coming here to the channel. It's going to be a pretty nice month for us. Very exciting and I do have some big surprises coming. Take a look at that guys. We just nailed a tree there and almost going to roll off the cliff there. So it's pretty nice that this tree helped us there. But you guys can see that without brakes you pretty much can't make any of these turns and you crash which is actually pretty exciting so next up I think we'll do a dumb truck a dumb truck would be pretty cool I do like dumb trucks and we'll get this here in navy blue I really do enjoy featuring BMNG every single Sunday here on the channel. This game is a ton of fun with a real life uh, crashing simulation. It's a pretty cool game and I can't wait to feature more and more of this here on the channel. As you guys can see we are gaining speeds. It's going to be a bit slower throughout the haul and we'll only be using this on one section. Then we'll be switching up to a different truck just because turning around is going to be a bit challenging. But take a look at that dump bed guys. Pretty cool dump bed. It looks like we do have something very similar there in farming sim but you guys can see already this thing is pretty much getting loose on us very interesting you guys can see that we do have the square 24 license plate there already up to 60 miles per hour and you guys can see that this is top heavy just take off that just not able to make a turn take off that guys breaking a wheel off sliding there and there we go rolling off the cliff are we going to stop whoa take a look at that guys here we go <laughs> we are rolling off rocks just take a look at that I mean, just now we are kind of stuck here with some trees. So we are now back here. We'll definitely switch this up, but this is an amazing game and it's a ton of fun. So I think up next, let's just kind of get the smaller semi truck here in silver. Sometimes I do like all of these different colors, and I think I will try to use different colors for my trucks in Farming Sim. As you guys can see, even turning around with this truck is a bit challenging. It is a pretty big truck, and it does have a pretty big wheelbase, even though it is a smaller semi-truck. So as you guys can see here on the first person view, it looks like we are just getting up to just around 30, which is pretty cool. And you guys can actually see the temperatures, everything like that, the RPMs, and it looks like we are in the green there. So this one might be a bit easier to get up to faster speeds. You guys can see the mud flaps are in a... Uh, position because we are going fast so you guys can see just about 60 miles per hour we'll keep at this to see what will happen as you guys can see still staying here at 60 I am able to make the turn which is nice and you guys can see just overall doing a pretty good job maintaining it and like I was saying guys I'm not using my brakes and I'm not getting off the acceleration I have my foot all the way down here and it's actually pretty exciting so as you guys can see can't oh look at that guys we just drifted through the turn will we be able to do this turn take off that guy's losing control there we go spinning around and we just destroy the truck there for the last two vehicles we'll be having some fun we'll be switching it up taking a few drag vehicles out this should be pretty interesting let's take out the first drag vehicle now for these I will be going slowly into the acceleration to prevent a ton of wheel spin and loss of traction just because these drag vehicles have so much you guys since we are leaving rubber down just take a look at that no brakes whatsoever whoa just take a look at that guys the frame is off of the uh 
body of the vehicle. I haven't seen that before. You guys can see just parts scattered all over. I mean, very fast vehicle. You guys can see drifting right there. And there we go. So, I mean, even turning this around is a bit challenging. But you guys can also see it does have many tires in the front. Giant ones here in the back. Let's actually do this one in first person view. You guys can see pretty hard. I am trying to stay in the acceleration, but this drag vehicle is a bit challenging because it just wants to get loose. Take a look at that, guys. Almost going off the cliff there. And there we go into a tree. So, I mean, the last two uh, uh, of these vehicles are pretty fun. Up next, we'll be getting this drag vehicle. It is actually pretty cool. And you guys can see it is in red and white stripes. <laughs> You guys can see that this has just so much power, it leaves uh, rubber all over, which is nice. But at the same time, guys, we just lose control. You guys can see, let's kind of take a look at that really fast. So I will show you guys right when you get on the acceleration with this, just take a look at that. It does want to go sideways just because you do lose traction, and uh, you kind of just have to correct it. But sometimes it is pretty hard to kind of play this game here with a keyboard. As you guys can see, we are up to some pretty dangerous speeds, and there we go, guys. Just could not control it. I could have braked but the main goal of today was not to. So it's going to turn around here, get going this way, and let's see what's going to happen. Now, I think it would actually be pretty cool to do the last video of today and then just driving off of a cliff. So that's what we'll do towards the end of today. There you guys go, wrapping around. The complete front end is ripped off, the frame we on, everything like that. But let's kind of see what would happen if we drive this off a cliff. I mean, that would be a pretty cool thing to do. And then we'll call it a day. I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the support here on the daily videos. You guys are awesome with all of the positive feedback, and I really do enjoy making content. It's a ton of fun. And as you guys can see, take a look at spinning off the cliff into a tree we go. Take a look at that, guys. We are hanging here from a tree. That is a great way to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.